Hello everyone and welcome to Python Scientific Computing Tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to perform symbolic calculations in Python. More precisely, we will learn how to simplify, expand, factorize and rewrite algebraic and trigonometric symbolic expressions in Python by using the symbolic Python toolbox SymPy. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 400 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. Consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you have a question or a comment about the material presented in this lecture, please feel free to ask your question or give a comment in the comment section below. Thanks! Okay, let's start. The first step is to install the Symbolic Python Toolbox, that is, to install SymPy. To do that, open a command prompt or an Anaconda window or an Anaconda prompt if you're using Anaconda and type pip install SymPy. And the installation process will start. You can see over here that since I already installed SymPy, nothing happened. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress. Okay, that was the first step. Now, open your favorite Python editor. In my case, I'm using Spider. I like Spider very much since it reminds me of MATLAB. I can simply select a piece of code over here and I can evaluate it over here and I can see the response and my workspace over here. Okay, the first step is to import everything from SymPy. I'm using this command to import everything. I'm importing all the libraries and all the packages. Then, let's define three symbolic variables. Here, x, y, and z are symbolic variables. Then, I'm calling this function init printing. This function is actually a function from SymPy and it's used for nice printing. And I will illustrate that in one second. So let's evaluate this piece of code and let's see the output. Okay, and let's type x. Here it is. Here is x. So I can also type 2x plus 5 and you will see a very nice response. Then you can do something like this. You can define a new expression, for example, expression 1. Or let's call it not expression 1 since I'll be using it later on in the video. Let's call it, let's say, op1. And let's type something like this. Sinus x plus cosinus x for example, plus um, 3 times x squared. And let's see the output. Notice over here that powers in Python are written like this. To write x squared, you will use star two, tw two times. Okay, so let's see the output. So let's see op1. Here it is. Wow, a very nice expression. And you can see that this expression is nicely written mainly due to this function. Now, one very important comment. If we didn't import, for example, this library, that is the whole package, we would not be able to write signs. To illustrate that, I will basically erase everything from my script. And let's see if I would type something op1 is equal to, let's say, sinus x. Of course, there will be an error since sinus is not defined, and of course, x is not defined. So this sinus function that you see over here, or cosinus, or any trigonometric function, or any power, is actually a part of SymPy. So keep in mind that. If you want to call the classical NumPy sinus function, then you will import NumPy as np, and then you will type np dot sinus and this will call the classical numpy sinus function for example 0 0.2 and you will get the response so i didn't basically import numpy and now i can do that to show you okay and you can see the output perfect first we need to explain the simplify function for example from basic trigonometry we know that sinus squared x plus cosinus squared x is equal to 1. 
This is the classical trigonometric expression that every high school student should know. However, let us try to simplify this expression in Python. And let's see, will we get one? To do that, we will use simplify. We will type simplify and over here we will type the expression sinus x however we need the squared so we need to type two stars two plus cosinus x squared and let's see the output let's evaluate everything from the beginning and let's see the output voila the output is equal to one perfect that's simplified Okay, let's try to simplify some other very well-known expressions. For example, we know that cosinus of 2x is actually equal to cosinus squared x minus sinus squared x. So, let's try to simplify the right-hand side and let's see, will we get cosinus 2x? To do that, let's type simplify and let's type cosinus x, then we need squared, then we need minus sinus x, then we need squared. And let's see the output. Will we get cosinus 2x? But before that, let me erase this and let's see the output. Voila, here it is, cosinus 2x, perfect, magic. Here is the real power of this toolbox. You can also simplify a very complex expressions. For example, over here, we have 4 sinus x, cosinus x, multiplying, plus actually 2, multiplying, cosinus squared x minus sinus squared x. We obviously know that this part is actually cosinus 2x. However, this expression can be simplified further. We know that this part over here, actually this whole part, is 2 times sinus 2x. So at the end, we have 2 times sinus 2x plus 2 times cosinus 2x. However, this expression can further be simplified, and you will see that in one second. Let me erase this, and let's see. Let's see the output. So let's evaluate this whole expression, and let's see. Simplify, and here it is. Here is the final expression. Then you can combine simplify with two variables, that is x and y. Let's do that. For example, we can type something like this, or let's try to simplify this. Sinus x times cosinus y plus cosinus x times sinus y. As the result, we should obtain sinus x plus y. This is the standard trigonometric formula. So let's try to type this formula over here and let's see the result. So we need to simplify and let's type sinus x times cosinus x plus cosinus x times sinus y. And here I made one error, I shouldn't have y. Okay, let's see the output. And here it is. We obtain x plus y, sinus x plus y. Perfect. However, this function simplify has several limitations. Let me explain you one thing. From basic calculus, we know that x squared plus 2x plus 1 is actually equal to x plus 1 squared. So let's try to do simplify by specifying 
this expression on the left hand side and let's see the result we will type simplify and let's see what do we need to write we need to write x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 and let's see the output aha uh -huh, nothing happened and that's the limitation to simplify these type of expressions, that is the polynomial, we will use another function. The name of this fun function is factor. So we will type factor, and then we will specify the expression. And let's see the output. And here it is, correct answer, perfect. You can also factorize the expressions such as this one, for example. We know that x to the power 3 plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 is actually equal to x plus 1 to the power of 3. So let's first try simplify. Simplify will not work. However, let us verify this by typing simplify and let's type the expression x to the power 3 plus 3 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 1 and let's see the output okay nothing happened mm -hmm. so let's try the same expression with factor so consequently let us type factor and let's specify this expression and here it is perfect Another important function that you need to learn is the expand function. For example, let us try to expand this expression, x plus 1 to the power of 3, multiplying, for example, 2x plus 7x squared. If you do it by hand, it will take you at least several minutes to expand this expression. However, we can do it very easily in Python. So let's define the expression. We have here x plus 1 to the power of 3. And then in the second term, I have 2 times x plus 7 times x squared. So let's see this expression. Here it is. Let me erase this part. Now, let's expand this expression. You will simply type expand, and then you will type expression. And let's see the output. Here it is. This is the expansion. That is, after you multiply all the terms, you will obtain this expression. The function expand is an inverse function of the function factor. And let's explain that. Let's assign to this expression 2 the result of expression 1 after it's being expanded and let's see the output so expression 2 will have this form and now let's try to define expression 3 that's a factor of expression 2 that is over here we will factorize expression 2 and let's see the output here it is here is the expression expression 3 and now let's compare expression 1 and expression 3 how to do that well we can do this expression 1 minus expression 3 and let's see the output here is the output however you can observe one thing over here it looks like it's not 0 however if you type simplify of expression 1 minus expression 3 you should get 0 and that's what's happening here's one advice after you do expand or factor or you kind of subtract or add several expressions together always use simplify keep in mind that finally let's learn how to use one very important function and the name of this function is rewrite this function is very useful for simplifying trigonometric expressions or rewriting trigonometric expressions. 
Over here, we have expression 4 that's equal to sinus 2x plus cosinus 2x. Let's try to rewrite this expression in terms of cosine. And let's see the output. First of all, let's evaluate this expression. And let's see it over here. Here it is. And let's rewrite this expression by using cosinuses. And let's see the output. Here it is. So this expression written only by using cosine function looks like this. Let's rewrite it by using sinus functions, for example. And here it is. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.